did DeviantArt betray its users by feeding all of their work into an AI? Hi, my name is Lola and I'm a hobbyist digital artist who's fascinated by these new AI art generator technologies and the discourse surrounding them. If you're interested in the subject too, I've made a couple videos on the topic already. I'll link them in the description if you're interested in watching. Anyway, popular art sharing website DeviantArt recently angered its users big time. On the 11th of November, they announced their brand new image generation software, DreamUp. According to DeviantArt, the main goal of DreamUp is to be an ethical AI generator that is respectful to the consent of artists. Artists can put in a form requesting their name, along with several pseudonyms, to be banned from use in DreamUp so that people can't generate images in their particular art style. If an artist is referenced in a prompt, DeviantArt will require users to declare this and tag the artist to give credit. DeviantArt is also keen on making sure that all AI-generated art is tagged as such and they've added the ability to reduce the amount of AI art seen in your DeviantArt feed if you so wish. Although, interestingly, they haven't given the option to completely exclude AI art from your feed. They've also made this new art generator paid. You can pay a subscription fee, known as core membership, to use prompts monthly, plus extra if you run out of the amount that they give you. This is an interesting move, considering DreamUp basically is the AI art generator known as Stable Diffusion, just with a few tweaks. And Stable Diffusion is actually open source, so is completely free to use. Some artists think that DeviantArt is taking a step in the right direction, however others do not like what's happening. But before I get into discussing that, I want to address a rumour. I've heard a lot of people claiming that DeviantArt already used the entirety of everything that has ever been uploaded to DeviantArt as training data for this new AI. I'm not entirely sure where this narrative has come from, as DeviantArt has never claimed to have done this. In their community post update where they responded to the backlash, DeviantArt said, DeviantArt did not, does not, and will not use deviations submitted to DeviantArt to add to third-party AI models or training sets or on DreamUp itself. The Verge interviewed Moti Levy, I, I genuinely have no clue how to say that name, but he's, he's the CEO of DeviantArt, and he reinstated in this interview, DeviantArt isn't doing or planning DeviantArt specific training for DreamUp. The tool is vanilla stable diffusion, trained on whatever data Stability AI had scraped at the point DeviantArt adopted it. However, while DeviantArt has not used its entire catalogue as training data, that doesn't mean that everything on DeviantArt wasn't already scraped to train Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion was trained on 2.3 billion images. Yes, 2.3 billion images scraped from all across the internet, including personal blogs hosted on WordPress and Blogspot, stock imagery sites like Shutterstock and Getty Images, and also art sites, and yes, this might well have included DeviantArt. Many artists take issue with their artworks which they created and own all of the rights to being used to train AI without their consent, so many users still feel it's a betrayal for DeviantArt to even use Stable Diffusion at all. The issue gets worse. DeviantArt made an absolutely baffling decision upon launch. They added the ability for users to opt in or opt out of their work being used in third-party AI training datasets. However, for some reason at launch, they set everything on the site to opt in. And if you wanted to opt out, you had to go through and edit your preferences for every single one of your potentially hundreds of deviations that you've ever uploaded. And even more crazily, you would have to wait for some poor DeviantArt employee to manually approve every request for every single art piece that you wanted to opt out. Of course, this ridiculous decision was overturned in under 24 hours after tremendous backlash, and now everything is opt out by default. I'd also like to discuss how the new no AI art tag might be misleading. While DeviantArt claims that opting out helps protect creators and safeguard their content across the web, what opting out actually does is add a no image AI tag to the end of the image HTML, and this kind of data is usually stripped out during image pre-processing. Yet, 
DeviantArt is heavily implying to its users that pressing this no AI button will protect your work from being scraped, but they really can't promise this. When The Verge spoke directly to DeviantArt recently, they reported that no model had yet agreed to respect the flag going forwards. Let alone retroactively remove images based on it. Um, and I just quickly want to point out that you can't actually remove images from these models because the images themselves are not stored in the models. The AI looks at them to learn patterns, textures and shapes, but the images themselves are not actually stored and then collaged together. So once your picture has been used, there is no undo button for that. Anyway, for artists who do want to prevent their work from being used in this way without their consent, this begs the question of, is anywhere actually safe? Everything that's been uploaded to Artstation and Pixiv and Instagram and ended up on Pinterest has potentially already been scraped to train AI. Now, I'm not saying this to scare anyone into like deleting everything because I know a lot of people were doing that with DeviantArt, just deleting everything and a lot of people are quite worried about this kind of thing right now, but I really don't think it's worth deleting accounts that you've worked a long time to build up to try and prevent this from happening to your work because, well, especially because it might have just happened anyway so you wouldn't actually be preventing anything. I'm just saying this to make the point that I think a lot of artists have probably already had their work scraped without their consent or without them even knowing. Um, but anyway, what do you guys think about the DeviantArt situation? Let me know in the comments and thank you all so much for watching, goodbye!